so these are some of the political mailings I've received in the last week. By my count, 38 of them, over the, about five or six a day. So let's go through it and see if we can figure out what it says to us. Let's deal with the negatives and what I'd like to think of as the positives first. Negative two mailings. Vote now or liberals will defund the police. Socialism is on the march. Liberals want to bring it to Georgia. These are bloody horse hockey nonsense ads that appeal only to idiots. And the group doing it is the right on issues. Yeah, right on my butt. Now, on the more positive side, we have ads that are not actually aimed at one thing or another. These ones are obviously aimed primarily at the Democrats, but just saying you need to vote. But there's also a nice one from the Republicans saying, just get out there and vote. And this one is a nice one, which just basically says, America votes, get out and vote. And so those are, if not positive, at least not negative, and mainly just, let's get out the vote. Now, of course, the big race everybody's concerned with is the presidential. And here's what we've gotten in Georgia. From Mr. Trump. One, two, three, four, five. And I will say on all of them are basically, I'm not sure you'd call it positive, but positive in the sense of the not attack ads. The best is yet to come. Dun, 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 make America great. Dun, 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 dun. You know, we made America great again, and there's five of those. Along with it, though, comes three from the Trump campaign, just, of course, attacking Mr. Biden, saying, done. You know, Biden's tax plan will lower your paychecks, which is not true. Think about the American. This one's not quite as negative, but still just basically is advocating um, against Biden. Interestingly, if you go, so five positives, three, I mean, three, yeah, positives for Trump, three negatives by Trump's campaign against Biden, um, and just two ads from the Biden campaign just kind of urging people to get out and vote. So that says something, exactly what I'm not sure. But here's the really interesting twist to me. The, we have two big Senate races going on in Georgia, um, which is unusual. This is a, probably one of the few times that two, uh, the two Senate races are both up. And there, one pits a John Ossoff against the incumbent Republican, he was a Democrat, against the Republican incumbent David Perdue um, and in that there's only three ads so one is a you know from the Purdue just saying you know he's on a positive saying help us um, um, one which says again that same bullcrap thing about defunding the police that they don't support um, so one attack ad from Purdue against them and one from Ossoff saying, you know, make an informed decision, which is actually not a bad layout of it, um, and says that's it. But look, see the blank space here? That is the other U.S. Senate race, which is the Republican um, held seat right now is by Kelly Loeffler. Um, and she's being challenged by another Republican, David Collins, and about 16 other people. And yet... Uh, including the Democratic leader, which is the Reverend Raphael Warnock um, of Ebenezer Baptist Church in, in Atlanta, who I happen to support. But notice something? Not a single ad from them at all. I don't know why. Local races, um, Deborah Gonzalez, but here's the other one now. The other is a race house and the two candidates are a Republican, Weedauer, and the Democrat, Jonathan Wallace. And I have to say, in all fairness, you go, you look at it, and you go, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ads attacking the Republican weed hour. And 
But in actually, even the one that's positive for um, Jonathan Wallace, not exactly that positive. Oh, and there's one, I'm sorry, there is one attack ad against Wallace from the Weeder campaign. Two neutrals, and then three others, which are, you know, Weed Hour is saying vote for him and on a positive. So you got eight negatives, Wallace attacking, I mean, yeah, Wallace attacking Weed Hour. One with Weed Hour attacking Wallace. Two with the Democrat Wallace saying something semi positive, and three from Weed Hour saying something semi positive. There is a tendency to look at it and go, I'm sorry, if you're doing attack ads and nastiness and all you can do is attack someone, yeah, I'm not sure that means that person is worth voting for. But again, that's my bias. But coming back to the original, this is what it's going to come down to. But uh, Trump and Biden and what they do in Georgia, because this is going to be an important, very important swing state. Um, and obviously the fact that Biden is here tells you some of that. But now you know what I'm going to do? I'm get all these, <laughs> mash it back all up. And you know where they're going? I bet you can guess. Yes, they're all going into the garbage uh, because I looked at it. I've got my absentee ballot already filed, already done, and I don't need to look at any more of that stuff. Take care.